Hello, and here's a tech news update for the week. Today, we will be talking about some AI news, a 128 core Windows ARM workstation, a possible handheld UI for Windows, and more. Planning your next trip is going to be a lot easier. Expedia has announced a new in-app travel planning experience powered by ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence technology. Expedia members can now have open-ended conversations with ChatGPT in the Expedia app to get recommendations on places to go, where to stay, how to get around, and what to see and do. The new trip planning experience also brings in intelligent shopping by automatically saving hotels discussed in the conversation to a trip in the app. This helps members stay organized and makes it easier for them to start choosing dates, checking availability, and adding on flights, cars, or activities. Here are some of the benefits of the new Expedia ChatGPT travel planning experience. There's personalized recommendations. ChatGPT can learn your preferences and interests over time to provide more personalized recommendations. There's convenient shopping. Hotels discussed in the conversation are automatically saved to a trip in the app, making it easy to start planning your trip. It's easy to use. The new travel planning experience is designed to be easy to use even for first time users. So if you're looking for a new way to plan your next trip, then try out the new Expedia ChatGPT travel planning experience. Scientists from Google and Stanford University have developed a virtual city inhabited by generative agents trained by ChatGPT. This was inspired by life simulators like The Sims. These agents displayed human-like behavior, storing information in memory and making decisions based on their environment. They coordinate plans, engage in conversations, and socialize at a virtual bar, demonstrating plausible human behavior. However, the experiment faced challenges, with agents occasionally failing to absorb important information and making unconventional choices. Researchers plan to improve the AI bots using the more advanced GPT-4 model. This virtual city and the behavior of the generative agents offer intriguing possibilities for AI and virtual simulations in gaming, virtual environments, and social simulations for studying human behavior. The advancement of virtual cities and generative agents represents a significant step forward in AI, showcasing the potential for creating realistic virtual environments. Further research and advancements in this field could lead to exciting innovations and applications in artificial intelligence or it could lead to AI destroying us. Ampere has recently released its Ultra Developer Kit, targeting software creators who work with cloud data centers. The kit includes Ampere system on a chips with an impressive 80 cores and also includes a pre-built workstation powered by the 128 core SOC. Surprisingly, the workstation is compatible with Windows operating systems and has driver support for NVIDIA's GeForce RTX graphics cards, offering unexpected versatility for developers. The developer kit costs $3,250 for a 32-core machine, and 128-core machines start at $5,658. Engadget reports that Sony Semiconductor and Raspberry Pi Limited are partnering up to provide AI chips to Raspberry Pis. Sony Semiconductor Solutions President and CEO Terushi Shimizu says, We are very pleased to be partnering with Raspberry Pi Limited to bring our Atrios platform, which supports the development of unique and diverse solutions utilizing our Edge AI devices, to the Raspberry Pi user and developer community and provide a unique development experience. To me, it's unclear whether this means that the chips will be integrated into future Raspberry Pi devices or as a daughter board or both. Either way, this will greatly increase the usability of Raspberry Pis for many projects like surveillance, security, and more. The team behind the Half-Life Alex No VR mod has released a major update that makes the entire game playable from start to finish. The no VR mod allows players to experience Half-Life Alex without the need for a VR headset. The mod has been popular with players who do not have a VR headset or who prefer to play games in a traditional 2D screen format. There's even a version optimized for the Steam Deck. The latest update to the no VR mod is the biggest one yet. It includes a number of new features and improvements such as fully implemented gravity gloves, 
players can now use the gravity gloves to pick up and interact with objects in the environment. Combine fabricators. These machines can be used to upgrade weapons and add new attachments. Updates to late game areas. These areas have been updated with their gameplay and mechanics. And there are much more updates. The no VR mod is still under development, but it is a great way to experience Half-Life Alex without the need for a VR headset. If you are interested in trying out the no VR mod, you can download it from the project's website. Cyberpunk 2077 has received a graphics upgrade with the introduction of path tracing, a sophisticated form of ray tracing that enhances lighting effects. The new patch, now available for download, has generated excitement among gamers and fans alike. Path tracing involves shooting even more rays to accurately simulate how light behaves in a scene, resulting in more realistic graphics. To fully experience the benefits of path tracing, a powerful graphics card such as the RTX 4090 with DLSS enabled is recommended, as the increased ray count can be resource intensive. YouTube channels have taken on the task of testing and analyzing the new feature, comparing it to the cycle ray tracing mode. Some of these videos are linked in the description. This update marks a significant step forward in pushing the boundaries of visual realism in video games and promises a more immersive gaming experience for Cyberpunk 2077 players as they explore the breathtaking Night City with cutting edge graphics and technology. A video is floating around from a Microsoft hackathon showcasing early work that's being done to make Windows more user friendly on a gaming handheld. The video showcases the features of this project, including a gaming shell that allows for quick game launches, a touch keyboard that can be navigated through a controller, optimized taskbar, and global controller support. Again, this is from a Microsoft hackathon. Projects showcased in these events may or may not actually come to fruition. But I see this project not only useful for handhelds, but can also improve dedicated gaming PCs for the living room. An integrated gaming UI mode without resorting to third-party software will give Windows a true console-like experience. So that's it for the news. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.